voice assistant, connections, multi-room function. The features of the WLAN speakers depend on the price. In tests, the sound is in the foreground. We'll show you the best Wi-Fi speakers currently available on the market for under $100. We've evaluated tests and opinions and added them up to an overall rating. Hi, and welcome to our channel. No question, sound and features of a WLAN speaker are important. However, the whole thing is only fun when the handling is also right, which is also evaluated based on test and user opinions. Handling includes installation, operation, workmanship, and design. You will find out whether the speaker can be connected to the network easily or if it's awkward. And how the best app for smartphones or tablets is with many WLAN speakers is set up step by step and then also operated, which sometimes works more or sometimes less well. Buttons on the device are also taken into account. More precisely, the number, placement, and functionality of the buttons. Are there any additional operating aids, such as automatic sound adjustment? Are the instructions helpful, misleading, or too short? And last but not least, things like material quality, stability, dimensions, and weight are put to the test. Before we get to the ranking, I'd like to ask you, if you liked the video so far, to leave a like or tell us in the comments what we should do better. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. Then you won't miss any of our upcoming comparisons. And here comes the ranking now. We start with an overall ranking of 3.8 out of 5 stars. The Xiaomi Mi Smart Speaker. At the time of testing, the price was around $50 fully-fledged alternative to the Google Nest Audio. Strengths? Low price? Usable with Google Assistant? High volume possible? And weaknesses? No connectors? And microphone without physical switch? Above all, the price is the decisive point, as in many cases with Xiaomi. Compared to the Google Nest Audio, for example, you could buy two smart speakers for the same amount which makes stereo sound possible in a simple way. A real difference is especially the microphone switch. Google integrates this as a real switch, whereas Xiaomi only shows a light that the microphone is probably turned off. The other functions are basically comparable due to the support of Google Assistant and Chromecast. So Xiaomi's speaker can also control the smart home. The high volume is also convincing, of course, the sound quality cannot compete with a pure speaker. And up next, we continue with the Amazon Echo, fourth generation, and the overall rating is 4 out of 5 stars. At the time of the test, the price was around $75. Interesting sound concept. Strengths? Good sound. Variety of functions. Good integration of smart home products. And weaknesses? questionable data protection. The direct comparison with the predecessor, Echo 3, is striking. The fourth generation also remains relatively compact, but has changed significantly in the shape and type of sound generation. Responsible for this is the completely new configuration of drivers. Two tweeters and a woofer are supposed to upgrade the sound in comparison and make it more suitable for the living room. The price remains about the same and thus clearly below the competition, but this is compensated by the strong connection to Amazon in the end. The many advantages of using the well-done voice control are indisputable. Numerous other smart devices like TVs, light bulbs, or additional Wi-Fi speakers can be controlled this way. However, data protection remains problematic because the use and evaluation of the recorded commands must always be approved. However, automatic deletion can be set in the meantime. By the way, we have linked all the presented speakers for more details in the video description below. Now we come to the overall rating of 4.2 out of 5 stars, the Apple HomePod Mini. At the time of the test, the price was around $85. Small assistant for the home. Strengths? Relatively inexpensive. Comprehensive integration into Apple HomeKit. Easy to pair with other speakers. And weaknesses. Limited sound quality. And only usable in the Apple universe. The price has to do with the competition from Amazon, among others. Thus, just under the 100 US dollars mark, and at least are not too far away from an Echo Dot. 
especially since the HomePod Mini has the slightly bigger speaker, whereby the sound quality is not comparable with a classic speaker system, despite all the technical aids. The Mini is primarily intended to support use of the various HomeKit products. If they are already present in the household, iPhones are used, and Apple TV or the iPad are always ready. It fulfills its purpose. That is exactly the weak point and the strength in one. The HomePod Mini networks with other Apple devices and can be used without hesitation with the comparatively solid privacy settings. However, it needs quite a bit of additional hardware from the same company, or at least devices with support for Apple HomeKit. However, Amazon's approach is not much different. Our conclusion? Even though we have decided on a ranking, the devices are very close to each other overall. And of course, each device has its own strengths and weaknesses, so everyone should decide for themselves which device suits them best and their wallet. We have linked all the devices in the video description for more details. Have you already decided, or do you already have one of the devices at home? Then we would be happy if you let us know which device you prefer, and above all why. I hope that we could help you a little deciding on your purchase. If so, please leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. That would really help us and the channel. Thanks for watching, see you very soon. Goodbye.